So usually when girls have an anal scene, there's a whole like two day preparation thing that yeah, goes into not it. Me. Not you. Not me. I I eat the night before. Mm-hmm. I eat breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, then you just don't eat after that. I don't eat after that. Um, I take a modium, mm-hmm. and that's really. That's the thing that works for me. I feel like I could not eat and not take a modium, mm-hmm. or I can eat and be more functional and just right. take the medicine. Yeah, so I yeah, take yeah. a modium, and then if it's going to be any kind of really crazy anal scene, mm-hmm. like whipped cream enemas or like <laughs> really crazy, you know, really crazy stuff, I clean the night before. Yeah, like I do a big bag enema and clean yeah. really deeply the night before. But right. if it's just a regular anal scene, I just clean on set right before the scene. Right. Okay. So whipped cream enemas. So. Yeah. Explain, explain, <laughs> explain these to us. And are there other kinds as well? Because I feel like there's so much in the anal, you know, play world yeah. to uh, to discuss that people have never heard of. A whipped cream enema is pretty much what it sounds like. You take the whipped cream can and you put it in your butthole and you squirt some whipped cream in there and then you you squirt it out. Oh my god, that's uh, it's I, very interesting feeling, and you get kind of high off of the. The CO2. I was going to ask cream. you. Yeah. I was going to ask you if that happened. Yeah, you get a little bit weird. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, if you do it, if you do it once or twice, it's fine. But if you do it all day, you right. get a, you get a little like weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, your butt is like apparently you absorb. Yeah. Like super ca- absorbent. Yeah. yeah. So you absorb like medi- med- med- medicals. You absorb yeah, medicals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you do a champagne enema and you get really, really drunk. Really? Which I've never done because I get drunk off of one drink. So I think if I did a champagne enema, I'd make myself sick. Wow. But that's what I've heard is that you get you get really drunk. Or a coffee enema. Yeah. Okay. You get really, really caffeinated. That, okay. I actually <laughs> tried that. <laughs> <You did it. laughs> I, read, I think I read in also Akira's book. She Maybe, talked yeah. about um, doing it and how she could feel like the caffeine, mm-hmm. like getting into her system and waking her up. And I'm like always on an endless quest to like be, have more energy and mm-hmm. be more productive mm-hmm. and be able to do more stuff. And um, so I tried that specifically because what, I wanted. What happened? Nothing. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I didn't hold it in my butt long enough. I don't know. But nothing happened. I don't, I don't know the proper coffee enema technique. I don't either. Maybe I need to ask Asa. Yeah. Maybe you have to keep it in there for a while. Yeah. I mean, because normally know. when you do an enema, you just keep it in there like as long as you can. As long as you until can, you have yeah. To go. Yeah. I feel like that's what I did. I'll have to I don't know. Shot. Maybe I need to like have a stronger coffee. Like, I mean, I feel like I'm so sensitive to caffeine too that I'd be like, really, buzz, 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 you know, and I wouldn't sleep for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode, and go check out all the other videos I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.